we're going to start with a major update. Savannah's largest project is moving along. That's the building of the new arena just west of the downtown historic district. The arena is a SPLOST funded project and it's moving along as planned. A lot of the stuff that you just don't see right now, which is a lot of the site work, a lot of the underground utilities, um, that stuff has begun. Um, coming up next will be uh, the foundational work. Um, we're dri driving huge piles into the ground uh, to support this massive structure. A massive structure indeed, 200,000 square feet, funded through the Special Purpose Local Option Sales Tax, or SPLOST, the penny tax from locals and visitors alike. We've had to put up um, develop plans for a new sort of trailer village. Again, we're, we're gonna be employing thousands of people to build the arena. So we have to sort of uh, figure out the logistics of how you move people in and out of that. At the same time of the building of the Savannah Arena, a major rebuild to Gwinnett Street will be shaping Savannah's west side and the Canal District. That'll be the most visible um, construction project for a lot of residents, particularly on the west side. Um, that is a major road project that will raise parts of the road, build a new bridge, and then widen Gwinnett Street um, from two lanes to four lanes with a landscape median in the middle. Um, there'll be bike lanes, there'll be sidewalks. This will be a complete street. Um, and it'll, it'll give a real sense of arrival into the larger canal district that we're developing. Which is the plan for that area to be a destination, an extension of the already bustling downtown landmark district. This will push streets, it'll push trail networks, and it'll push development um, farther to the west, connecting really our historic district with some of our um, greatest neighborhoods on the west side, places like Carver Village and Cloverdale. Um, and, and it'll really serve as a bridge and a new public offering. The Anchor Project, the arena itself, is expected to be complete in early 2022.